I want to show you our Greenway compost box system and how to make and use it. You need at least 28 logs, each 5 feet long and about 5 to 6 inches in diameter and you need four short wide logs that are about one foot high and about one foot in diameter. I use black locust logs because they are extremely durable and they are always a little bent which makes them good for stacking since they don't roll or move. Find an open place in your yard, preferably in full sun, but not under a tree or near a tree. Tree roots will grow up into the compost box and take all the nutrients. You can place it on top of lawn grass or any weedy area. Place the four short logs at each corner of a square on their ends so that the inside distance between each log is about three feet. Lay the first two logs on the corner logs across from each other. Stack the next two logs on top of the first two to make a square. Keep adding layers of logs to make a box about three feet high. You can start filling a low box with waste organic matter, such as leaves, clippings, and weeds. When the low box is full, add more logs on top till the box is about five feet tall. No varmints live in these boxes with lots of space in between the logs. Filling the space between the logs with smaller wood will keep moisture in the pile better but will also create a safer place for rats and other varmints. To make loading materials to the top a little easier, you can add steps on one side. For one low step, use two seven foot long logs instead of five foot long logs near the bottom of the box, sticking out on the same side. Put a board across the two ends that stick out and make a wide step. If you have space, make several boxes, placing them far enough apart to allow for a wheelbarrow or cart to go through. The organic material in a log box like this decomposes slowly, and it might take a long time before the first compost is ready. Doing nothing while waiting a year for materials to decompose is easier than doing a lot of work to make the compost quicker, like moving all the materials or aerating it. Adding water to the pile speeds up the composting process, but I usually don't do that either. The oldest materials at the bottom will decompose first, and as the pile shrinks down, more can be added to the top. Finished compost can be removed from the bottom openings any time it is ready, without having to take the whole pile apart, like with standard compost boxes. I sift the composted material in a black tub with a screen. To make this compost sifter, I cut the bottom out of a plastic tub and I put a plastic coated screen with one and a half inch holes on the bottom. Any material that does not go through the sifting screen is put back on top of the compost pile. You can add materials on top and take finished compost from the bottom at any time of the year. Another way to get to the compost is by removing all the logs from around the compost pile. Put any organic matter that's not decomposed yet into another compost box. The finished compost is in the center of the pile. You can use this compost anywhere in your garden or you can spread the finished compost around the area where the box has been to make a new garden bed ready to be planted. The soil under an old compost box is excellent for a future vegetable bed. Over the years, we have moved our compost boxes to prepare areas for new garden beds without having to dig, rototill, or add any chemical fertilizers. Locust logs are best. Locust wood is the most durable wood. It will last 40 years or more compared to other northern hardwoods which will decay in five to 10 years. Using locust wood from locally grown trees avoids using lumber transported from faraway places.
Locust trees grow fast and remove CO2 from the atmosphere quickly. Locust trees store CO2 in wood for 40 years or more. Locust trees grow throughout the United States and southern Canada in many elevations, microclimates, and soil types and are large enough to use in 5 to 10 years. Locust trees are nitrogen fixing. They create the fertilizers they need to grow and create additional nitrogen fertilizer in their leaves that enrich the soil underneath. Their flowers are an excellent food source for honeybees. The combination of nitrogen fixing trees, pasture and animals called silva pasture is a very efficient way to produce food and absorbs more CO2 than almost any other kind of agriculture. Locust trees are well suited for silvo pasture in northern climates. The Greenway compost boxes are an easy and sustainable way to recycle the nutrients in waste materials and provide compost year round. They also provide the benefit of a low labor, low energy way to prepare and enrich the soil for future garden beds. Local, sustainable, long lasting, life enriching, and climate fixing. It's the green way. If you have any tips you'd like to share or questions you'd like to ask, please leave them in the comments below. And remember, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to learn more about our sustainability research and support our work, click on our website button. Thanks for watching our video.